everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and I am in the process of working on a fusion piece. And I already did the first part of this process. I'm going to put two skins on here. Look at this piece. Amazing. This is such a cool thing. So what I'm working on is what's going to be on this side. I've already done this one. So I need a baby bloom, maybe with some legs going in one direction. So I'm just going to dive in. So this is my translucent pillow. Let's see where we end up here. Um, that's equal parts Valspar bear. And then that was 50, 50, one to one. And then Valspar bear one to one to flow trawl. If that makes sense. So this is Arteza's Sky Blue. Sky Blue Light. This is uh, Pearl Strawberry Red, also by Arteza. This is my gold combination, 24 karat gold by Golden. I mean, 24 karat gold by Deco Art and iridescent gold by Golden. And this is the cadmium oxide green, Arteza, with a drip or two of carbon black by Golden and some Sky Blue by Arteza. Last color here is my Payne's Gray combination. It's tricky making these fusions and trying to figure out how big? Yeah, I don't know if I even a pillow down. I can always cut it back. Cell activator, my white. Oxide white, titanium white, sorry. Amsterdam. And the oxide black by Amsterdam. Quick blow. So as I'm blowing out this bloom, I am always trying to keep in mind the shape and the size that I need for the fusion piece. And this one is really tricky because it's so small. And as I've mentioned before in prior videos, working on a small scale, I think, is sometimes a lot more difficult than a larger scale because it's hard to contain the size to the size that you need. The strange thing is that this pillow is so different than uh, a normal pillow. I, 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 I'm still trying to get a feel for it. Yeah, some of the tricky part about creating a bloom for the fusion is knowing that I need to make a nice bloom, but then also need to make it the right size. And that is part of the tricky part, because honestly, the first one I made, while the bloom came out really, really pretty, I can't use it because it came out too big. And also here, the pillow is acting very differently. Doesn't behave the same. It's like, what is going on here? Why is he running away so far? <laughs> Maybe
Maybe that's a good thing, though. You know what? That might be just fine. Let's give it some space to run. I'm looking at my piece. I'm looking at the bloom. I'm trying to figure out how to make this fit. Yeah, I don't think the runaway is, is a bad thing. So as we continue along, you see the gist of what I'm trying to do here. I will cut out and speed up some parts as we go through. I'm trying to imagine it here. Let's see. I'll probably cut this out. So if I have it like that. Oh, wait a minute. That may go. Oh, I don't know which way it's going to go. You know what? I can't plan for everything. Let's we'll see what happens here. I like the way it's stretching out. I like the colors coming through. So everyone, this is the general shape, and as I go through the rest of this, I'm going to speed up and cut out portions as we go through. where we are. And here's the close-up of the paint skin creation that we just made. So I've since learned from the first couple of these fusion pieces that with the paint skins all you have to do is just peel them off the silicone mat just like that. As simple as possible. I was making things a lot harder for myself so here we are with the paint skins, and I'll get the others to show you the rest of them too. So I ended up creating four paint skins for this, but the first one, the biggest one, closest to me, is too big, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use that. But one of the things I point out here is with a translucent base, the lacing is really accentuated and shows off with that translucent base. So with a wood piece here that I've already sanded, mineral spirited, and stained, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get those three paint skins on there in the best way possible. And here I'm just showing the stain that I use, which is the Natural Stain by Minwax. And here I'm just showing the varnish I use to adhere the three paint skins, and this is the final placement of them on the wood. So everyone, that's a wrap. Here's the final resin piece, and I'm going to show up close and personal the front and back of this fusion creation. If you want to refer back to other videos that cover more in detail other aspects i have listed them prior and i'll also have a link for my playlist of fusion pieces at the end of this video at the end i will also have photos of the other fusion pieces so you can see the other creations that i've made so everyone i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new here please subscribe hit the bell and all you'll get all my latest art tutorials leave a comment and a thumbs up that would be really appreciated 
If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. If you have any requests, also do the same. So that's all for now. I'm going to sign off and leave you to see the rest and the playlist. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.